Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about Lisko substitution principle. If S is a subtype of T, then object of type T may be replaced with object of type S. In another words, object of type S may substitute object of type T without altering altering any of the desirable properties of the program. In other words, you can say that. when we have a base class and a child class relationship then if we can successfully replace the object of a parent class with an object of a child class without affecting the result so in that situation here if s is a subtype of t means like s is that child class and t is that base class once you are inheriting that one that a base class t then if you are creating that object of a type t and or type s it should not affect that any functionality of the base class let's see with example open the visual studio create a new project console application or in other word you can say that the principle defines that object of a superclass shall be replaceable with object of its subclass without breaking the application so create one rectangle class create one protected and just scroll with protected is a numbers height then public integer I get return underscore height. Same like that for width. Just copy and paste it here. Width. This one will be return width. I will create that virtual class. This one is going to be over overwrite by the child class public virtual void set with under the score with Let's go to width. Next one will be the same like height. This one will be the height. Now we're going to calculate area. And let's print get area. Then it will be return underscore width. Okay. Underscore height. 
Now we are going to create just make a small sign. It will be clear. I am going to create one square class. Or this one we are going to inherit. Override Override Hide So here we decide that one because this one is already set with height and width is inherited height equal to this height and same like here with equal to width. Now open that program class and create that object of a rectangle. I say underscore I say is equal to but set with twelve underscore I say is equal to set at another ten. Okay. Now I'll check that one area. So console right line. So the area of the rectangle is equal to I set dot get area. Just and now we are going to create that one object of a square. So same reference we are going to take new that is square the same we are going here also just copy and paste it here and run that area Now on the application, this one is the area of a square. Let's see that. See, in the both the cases, it's coming that uh, area of rectangle is also coming the 120 and the square is also coming 120. This, this is at the round. So, what actually that list of substitution principle is saying, when we have a base class and child class relationship, then we can successfully replace the object of a parent class with an object of a child class without affecting the result. Now you can say that result is not coming correct. Because here if you look here this one that I save I save hold the reference of the type square. So here that uh, this one this one actually it's a changing the object. If you here you can, can read that uh, if we can successfully replace the object because that uh, square is successfully re uh, replace the object of a rectangle. 
So this one actually here, it's a replacing that object. The child class is replacing that one object of a base class. So that because of that, it's breaking the rule of a list of substitution principle. Because it's supposed to become that a, a, a square is something different. But it's coming that same of both of the cases. So as per the definition of the principle, if this example does not violate the Lisco substitution principle, then the gate area method in the base class will give the same area of, the, of a rectangle. In another word, whether we execute this method with the instance of the rectangle class or square say, we should get the area as 120, but it is not and this is how it's valid the Lisco substitution principle. Then how we can solve this problem? Just now, now we'll create one abstract class. That is a class. That's the class name. So the shape. This will be the abstract class. Public. Abstract class. Now we are going to create one abstract method that is a public and get area. Make it to the abstract. So end. Now make it to the area. Now remove that one, that one, that all things. Just delete. And square also. Just delete that one. Now go to the rectangle and inherit that one. That shape. Abstract class. Now override. Area. So from so the height and from integer to variety each width. So return will be height into width same like for a square map in the square and here also you can inherit shape and override area so here then property integer Sides, then return to sides into sides. Okay. Now go to the program class. Just remove that one. Now create that one. Shape. So this one to new rectangle. Then save dot yes. height equal to hundred and width is equal to two hundred. I call shape dot area just print that one console dot right line area of the rectangle
same like for shape or you can use that same shape which will go new square sides equal to 100 now shape dot area just copy this one area of a now run the application see now it's coming correct we will check that one because we have created that one we have replacing that one that shape object to that child object you can see here that a rectangle is a, is a child child class and it's a replacing that the base class object and here also that square is that child child class and replacing that base class object so from this way you can solve that let's go substitution principle so let's check what we have done till now i have created that one abstract class with abstract method that is returning that area so that particular class it's a using in that for the square same class and for rectangles so in the main method we are calling that one we are placing that one that uh, child class base class to child class we are replacing that one for, uh, if you look that for Lisco substitution principle is saying that one when we have a base class and child class relationship then we can successfully replace the object of a parent class means like uh, here we are successfully replacing that one object and uh, so the parent class with the instance of the child class without affecting the result now you can say that the result is not affecting both the result is coming correct like here if you will make it 10 and 20 and just change to 40 we have changed that we have replaced that for base class to child class but it's not affecting the result this is called the list of substitution principle. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.